South Carolina's medical marijuana bill has passed out of committee and is heading to the House floor for debate. News 19's Becky Buzz explains the bill's fate one month before the end of the session. House lawmakers will soon debate and vote on a bill to legalize medical marijuana in South Carolina. It comes after a lengthy committee meeting where lawmakers read through 40 out of 100 amendments, ultimately voting in favor to send the bill to the House floor. Opponents of the bill, like Representative Vic Dabney, worry about the unintended effects of legalization. My concern is across the nation, wherever these bills have passed, a lot of problems develop. Representative Sandy McGarry, who also voted against the bill, believes more research on its benefits needs to be done. I agree with the American Medical Association and the AAMA that there needs to be um, more testing and more guidance on this before it can be actually a prescription drug, in my opinion. But supporters like Representative Wendy Brawley and Dion Tedder say the rewards outweigh the risks. This particular bill is not only going to help a lot of people, we heard from them this week, but it's about more than that. It's about helping young children who can't speak for themselves. I'd rather have um, people being having access to safe use of medical marijuana than having them go out and try to go to another state or illegally obtain marijuana. The committee also approved an amendment to require ingredients and potential allergens to be listed on the labels. The Senate passed the bill in February. If it becomes law, South Carolina will become the 38th state to legalize medical marijuana. While the legislation received bipartisan support in the Senate, it's unclear if it will in the House. Reporting at the State House, Becky Buds, News 19, WLTX. Governor McMaster has not said whether he will support the bill if it reaches his desk. Lawmakers are on Easter break and will return to session after next week.